What? What am I looking at? So your so-called sacred project is this gigantic IDM computer. I was curious about them during my stay in Laplace. Those later versions of the model are so much better than the 66 ones. But this one doesn't seem that far advanced to those. This is not a junk piece the man has sold you, is it? Items of the phenomenal world are all a waste. This one is long broken. After the emanation, we couldn't find anyone to repair it. Why do you keep referring to the storm as the emanation? What does the emanation mean? It is the waves of Numa. We are the expellees of the world of forms. We were banished to this damp and dark cave. Everyone here is obsessed with the fake light on the wall, but forgets to look for the truth. Numa, however, will lead us to escape the cave and return to a more supreme realm. Eh? You make it sound like we're living in piles of rubbish! Aren't we? Of course not! If you ask me, I'd say you have absolutely no idea how wonderful the outside world is. Because you have never left here to try it yourself. Dr Pepper, the music festivals, Rory Storm, the Hollies and the Rolling Stones. Oh, there are too many to count. If it weren't for this sick storm, I would still be riding a motorcycle in one of those races in London. Hmm. Your soul must be pretty contaminated. And the computer, they can calculate extremely large numbers within seconds, better than hundreds of thousands of you combined together. In the case of numbers, it's not the bigger the better. Also, this computer has never played a useful part in our study. Come on, mate. You people just leave it in a cave. It's like sending an infant to the kitchen and waiting for it to bring you dinner. Never mind, you'll see what I mean after I fix it. Can you fix an IDM Regulus? No, but I've seen the Lepath people do it. Shouldn't be too difficult, I assume. Oh, the dust! When was the last time you sent people down here to clean? Oh, some critters are nesting here. Oh, did I break into your party? Bertin, come give me a hand. They won't let me touch him. Anyone offer your seat to the seniors? Take it easy. <laughs> Time to check my calculation. <sighs> Handle it Goodness. gently. My child, here's something fun for you. Time to check my calculation. Please, don't resist. Rational. Troublesome. Relax. It could be found. I smell the scent of mint oil. Time to check my calculation. Intersect and divide. And relax. Isn't that? A two, 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 two. You are wrapping on numbers. Huh. Uh. The Take it easy. Mat. Welcome to the world of numbers. Huh. 
Try for free! Try for free! It could be can't fun. take it easy. Are you a rational member? My child, here's something fun for you. Hmm, a little bit hot here. Rational. Oh, don't be so hard. Bloody prom. No worries. Handle it gently. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> Come back to me. <laughs> Take it and handle it gently. My child, here's something fun for you. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey! <laughs> Rational. Take it easy. A two show, a two show your It's a bubble. Huh. Mm, a little bit hot here. Victory. Okay. But what does it mean? You fixed it. It's great to have you clean the laboratory, Regulus. Your floating point immediately reduced. Oh, is that a compliment? Sounds like one to me. Thank you. It's a wordplay, Captain. Infinity minus any numbers still equals to infinity. Oh, fine, fine. I should have given up the idea of changing your eccentric sorting system a long time ago. What's the meaning of humans inventing computers if these machines were only left here for some critters to nest in? Thanks to you, now we can have a look at the previous models, Regulus. But it's a pity since it only has the data before 2003. Everything in the past four years has gone missing. This is our chronology, Virtin. From 1999 to 2007, the emanation has taken place seven times. In the initial four years, the emanation has a pattern. First, it brought us back to the 90s, then the 80s, and then the 70s. After that, it suddenly leaped to the 30s. In the subsequent three years, it took place twice. Every record here can perfectly match what is in the Foundation's files. Wait, these are the records before 2003, you say? But this one refers to the storm in 1966, which happened recently. These are indeed the records before 2003. What's following the records is our forecast. That's to say, you prophesied the 1966 storm four years prior to its occurrence. How is this possible? That you are clever enough to develop such a precise mathematical model, while at the same time you just let the IDM become the home of these critters. We just worked out the patterns and the number sequences. You made such precise prediction even without leaving the island. Oh, that's incredible. You don't need to go into a river to find out the pattern of its flow. Moreover, we would send people to observe in the phenomenal world. My mother was one of them. She is the co-author of this model. Nobody knows this computer better than her. 
So you have a mother too. Two? Thirty-seven. Where is your mother now? Like many people, she was restored to her true form. Since then, I took over this laboratory. The form, you said? Thirty-seven? What is it? What kind of question is this? The form, or the essence, is what's left of you after all the fakeness has been peeled off. Now we are listening to the New Year collection. The world-famous painting Mona Lisa was found and returned to Musée de Louvre in the afternoon of December 13th. The U.S. Congress passed the Federal Reserve Act on December 23rd, formally establishing the Federal Reserve System. The conflict between Austria-Hungary and Serbia has escalated. Bulgaria challenged the Bucharest Peace Treaty. Tension is building up over the Balkan Peninsula. In London, futurists gathered under Big Ben, celebrating the upcoming 1914. This is... news of the outside world? What about on your side? Well, I am with Sophia. Arcana's still in the hall. She hasn't taken any action so far. Got it. Please keep an eye on the Manus followers. Be mindful of the restrictions set by the Bangle. Who are you talking to? Just checking up on Lilia. Please stay vigilant during the patrol. This is the last place we need to check. We must keep this graveyard clean. Our dead deserve to be left in peace and undisturbed by the phenomenal world. Miss Sophia, you said this is the graveyard? Yes, the Geometry Graveyard it is called. Four years ago, my father was restored to a geometric body on his way back to the island. So was 37's mother, who was also on that ship. Sophia? I was wrong. We calculated it wrong, 37. We miscalculated the impacted area of the emanation. We thought the ships would be safe in the Gorgon Current, but the safe area is in fact five degrees away. When the emanation happened, the bow of their ship had just entered the safe area. But it was too late. My dad is gone. So is your mom. I know. But why are you crying? My mom and your dad have come back to us. Right? Have come back? Do you call this? Coming back? Like this? In the form of geometric bodies. 
cold and silent, being pushed to the shore? No, they have gone somewhere further. Look at them. These geometric bodies. How pure and how elegant. I've never seen such perfect geometric bodies before. If they are not from the eternal and transcendental world of forms, how should we explain this? 37? I'm going to study the emanation, Sophia. This is the best chance ever. A transcendental world finally opens its door to us. We will reach our hands to the forms and explore the oldest and eternal laws. Will you help me, Sophia? Next time... Next time I will definitely make a better calculation. I promise. Thank you for assisting 37 with her research, Sonetto. Hmm? No, I didn't do anything. Timekeeper knows the storm better. You have helped us greatly by just coming onto this island. For all this time, 37 has been locked up in the laboratory, refusing to talk to anyone, nor participate in any group study. Since the two-day emanation in 1929. It is you who helped her revive her interest in other affairs in Apiron. These are Timekeeper's contributions. I barely did anything. <sighs> I can't help, 37. Because I don't see the charm of numbers. I lack the perception that an integer should have. That's why I can't see my own number. The number's... charm? Sorry, I have never thought about this. For me, Arcanum is my inborn mission. If you ask me, you are an unbelievably excellent Arcanus. You can flatten the ground, clean up the beach, and rectify errors. You did it in an efficient and precise manner, which is already an advanced ritual. Any students who have sworn to knowledge can do this easily. They aren't doing my job because they wish not to waste time on these trivial fragments of the phenomenal world. Because they have seen the truth. The phenomenal world is never complete, like you can never draw a perfect circle there. No matter how much time you spend on it or how sophisticated your device is, it is impossible to draw a perfect circle in the phenomenal world. Arrows always exist. The floating points after the decimal can be reduced, but not destroyed. The perfect circle only exists in the abstract transcendental world. Of course, anyone in the world can find out the value of pi through the most primitive method. Egyptians, Greeks, Chinese, and Babylonians, they have all tried. They made circles with twine, painted on the ground with twigs, or measured the land with cubit rods. But none of them actually drew a perfect circle. However different their practices were, they found out the sole truth the approximate value of pi. Because the essence of the circle is hiding in the imperfect manifestation of it.
this is the truth. It is eternal, unchanged, pure, and transcendent. Anyone can reach out to it at any time, in any place, by any means, and everyone will get the same answer from it. The forms transcend all matters. The world of matters we live in is being flooded and destroyed by the tides of Numa. When the tides recede, what is left on the beach is the essence. Uh, this doesn't sound right. Let me think. How come your theory reminds me of the Manus Doctrine? 37. We see the storm very differently. Among all the other things, we saw it first of all as a disaster. But earthquakes, floods, volcanic eruptions, these are also disasters. These catastrophic events happen not because they have a reason to destroy. They just happen in this world, like we do. This is what my mother taught me. She must be proud that she's a perfect geometric body now. I'm sorry for mentioning your mother. Why do you apologize, Furton? Are you feeling guilty? This is a very unusual feeling for a number like you. I don't get it. Why did you say my number is zero? 